This week I was developing a panoramic photo in Photoshop beta and uh, I went and uh, dropped in and, and started to use genera generative, <laughs> I can say it, Phil. Uh, I know I did a video on this before, but I got to tell you, I was, I'm still blown away. Every time I use this tool, I'm blown away by the output and I wanted to share that with you. So, all right, let's get into it. All right, here we are in Photoshop beta. First off, uh, this was a, a panoramic um, photo I took over in Ireland. I do not remember the town. I had to stop and do some work. I had to stop, find some Wi-Fi and do some quick work. And where was it? It was, I think it's this blue building, right? This light blue teal-ish pub. I went in there. Uh, it was kind of a cool day. We ordered up some Irish whiskeys and uh, I was able to do work from uh, the other side of the ocean. And uh, it, it was pretty fun. Great memories. Anyway, uh, when I was outside, I took this uh, panorama photo, uh, probably four or five uh, vertical shots um, because it had this really interesting bend to the the buildings and um it was just beautiful and colorful and you know maybe people that live in ireland see this all the time it it it, it had a feel to it that uh we don't get over here in 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 the states so anyway let's look at generative fill i said it right i said it first time all right uh, so first I'm going to duplicate my background so we can take a look at it later. And what I'm going to do is, okay, we see this van in the lower right hand corner that's popping out at me. I want to reduce and simplify. That's what I do as a photographer. And we're going to do a uh, generative, generative fill. Just gonna, let's see what it can do. It's cooking. It's thinking. Boom. Look at that. Let's, uh, let's zoom in there. Yeah, I couldn't tell where the van was or not and I mean come on look at that that's that's pretty good I'll take it all right so uh you know I'm not putting any prompts in here all right let's let's throw let's throw a, a fastball at it look see okay so we have this white car that's parked outside the buildings here outside my pub when things are white when they're bright that's where the eye goes to so from a photography standpoint that's a distraction we're gonna get rid of it so we're going to put a selection around it, you know, and we're going to give it some breathing room. We don't want it to be like a really tight selection. We want Photoshop to be able to kind of get its get its fingers and grab on to to what's in in the um, in the scene. So we're going to throw another generative fill. We're not putting anything. We're just letting Photoshop do it. What just beeped? Something beeped. Somebody needs me. Somebody needs me somewhere. I'm going to go check for the in-between stop signal up in the sky. So it's thinking, what? Are you kidding me? Are you kidding me? Look at that. What? What? Okay, if we're zooming into this. Zoom it. What did we? That is amazing. I'm going to throw another fill right here. I don't know what this thing is, what it was building, but let's throw another fill. This is amazing. Like I look, I, I do AI art. I've been doing it for a long time and it is shocking to me how it figures this out. Oh, sea salt. No, that wasn't the pub I was at. This was the pub down here. Kelly's it's this red one. All right. I can't believe it. Just figured that out though. Holy cow. Let's, let's take a look at that. Wow. I mean, it extended the windows down, but I will take that any day of the week. All right. It's like a car wing here that's sticking out because I was out in the parking lot. Let's select all that. Let it just uh, come up with its own fill. We love Phil. Phil's awesome. What a guy. What a guy. Boom. Gone. That was an easy one though. I feel like we just threw a, a real easy one at this. What if we tried these two cars here? Because, you know, in, in the whole scheme of this, this image, uh, I feel we could clean that up a little. I feel they're kind of a distraction. Let's see if Adobe can, can, let's see how good Adobe is. Ready? Come on. There's no way it's going to get this. And what? What? There were cars there. Come on. There are cars there. There they were. It built something green. It's like it put a sign in there. So there's a little, little trashy for me. 
So let's let's grab this. Mm. Fill that. This is absolutely bonkers. Oh my god. Look at that. I mean, this it didn't leave steps. Like that's a little weird. I mean, honestly, I could probably I bet you anything it'll Okay, let's see. Let's see how smart Adobe is. It may extend the the doors down. If it puts steps in it, um that's witchcraft. That is witchcraft. It's a little weird because that's like generated something that's got a big step up there, but nice. That's what I thought it would do. Not too bad. Not too bad. Not everything lines up, but I'll take it. I mean, this is a massive photo, so who's gonna who's gonna know that that's I mean, this stuff doesn't matter, but I'm kind of addicted to the tool now. I just I'm just cleaning stuff up. Like if I was cloning this out or it would take me couple hours to kind of crank through this okay that's well, now it's giving me other cars let's let's let it do another shot at this let's give it one one more it's weird the easy one it, it's kind of stumbling on boom there it is they're gone they are gone you know i haven't even been checking the the options because you're given three options when it generates I've just been like going with the f the first one. I wonder not there. That's not that one. I wonder. So it saves the other versions. I'm just curious if ah oh, put a box there. Oh my god, I'm keeping that one. Look, it it put the little uh, what do you call that? Ah, jeez. Oh, my mind's gone blank. It didn't extend the windows all the way to the ground, and that is a significant improvement over it. So I mean, hey, this photo looks great let's do let's throw one more ai based craziness to this i'm gonna i'm gonna go up here and i'm gonna do an alt windows shift e where i put everything into one layer one new layer so i'm not destroying i don't want to be destructive disk space is cheap these days and let's do an image edit sky replacement so this sky it, it's cloudy it just didn't have a lot of detail in it i mean we can we can throw see that doesn't match quite right the lighting isn't quite right because this is a very diffuse lighting on the buildings because it was a, such an overcast so i need something that you know it's filled in and and gives a an ambient lighting feeling a, a flat light feel very soft shadows and so i don't want any too much exposed blue because that would signify direct light so I want something that's pretty dense coverage of of clouds. Um, as you see, it's just it doesn't look quite right when we uh, it's actually that's it's not too bad. That one I could get away with. It is relighting it in some bizarre way. But what I really want to do is stick with the integrity, and I just want something that's that's filled in gray. Uh, not great. Has detail in the clouds, but doesn't have a direct doesn't doesn't uh imply that we have direct lighting on it and i think this one is perfect i think that will do so we'll say okay now let's go back and take a look at our original image look at the improvement here you know this is a photo for me you know i'll probably print it and and put it on my wall it's it's not something i'm gonna sell it's not something i'm sending to the gallery it's just to remember what this town looked like and you know how you know, I I felt great in this town. It was uh, there was just this feeling of of it not it wasn't obviously wasn't rural Ireland. It was just a magical little town. While this is a great capture uh, of the information there, this gives me the feeling of you know it was kind of cold that day. I cold enough to be drinking Irish whiskeys to war or uh, Irish whiskey. Well, it was Irish whiskey, but uh, Irish coffees. Uh, cause I wanted a little bit of buzz, but I also wanted to stay warm and the Irish whiskey, it does that. So here we go. There we go. There's, there's the after here's the before. Amazing. Amazing. I'm still shocked by this. I'm still, sh I shouldn't be. This has been out for a while. I already did a video. You can check it out. I'll link it here. I can do that. Right. But this is amazing. All right, I just wanted to show you just the voodoo that that Adobe is doing. And, you know, when the dust settles on the whole AI thing, Adobe is, they're going to be there.
All right, thanks for watching. I am so blown away by generative fill in Adobe's uh, Photoshop beta. It is just amazing. It is magic. It is voodoo. When the dust settles in these AI wars, Adobe will be on top. I guarantee they will. They're, they seem to be moving slower. You know, you see your mid journeys, you see your um, stable diffusions and your Leonardo's really pushing and, and edging each other out. Adobe's kind of sitting back, but what they're putting out is so strong. It is ridiculous. I mean, this fill is a flex and you know, there's more I could do with this image, but oh my God, they are killing it. Their tools are production ready and you can rely on this. The other thing that's really interesting with Adobe is they are taking a very adamant stand that, that, um, what they are training, I, I guess this is based on their Firefly AI, what they are training is uh, morally and, and legally obtained, where other models that have been built, you know, there's a lot of questions and lawsuits about the uh, efficacy of, of how they've trained their models. Adobe is doing it right. Um, they're pulling it off of their Adobe stock. So they have rights to it. They're pulling it off of other, other imagery that has basically royalty free for them, or they bought access to, to the library. So from my understanding, Adobe is doing it right. And I like that. I, I like that they're taking, uh, ethical, strong movements. Uh, anyway, Thanks so much for watching this video. This is, uh, you know, this is what I do. This is how I use it. You know, the way it's rebuilt those, those storefronts is amazing to me. I just, I can't believe it. But anyway, thank you for watching. If you could do me a favor, like this video. It really helps. Comment. Let's talk about this stuff. I want to talk to people about it. And, and uh, you know, I, I get a lot of comments and, and I, I really love having thoughtful back and forth with you guys. And lastly, if you could subscribe to the channel, that would be great. It would be very helpful. You know, uh, I, I have goals set for this channel and I have to meet them. So if you guys could subscribe, I know subscriptions and all that, it doesn't matter. But if you guys could do it, I would really appreciate it. And uh, we we have been growing fast, so I love that. All right, till next time.